My name is Vanita. I'm Group Finance Director at Ocado Group PLC. As some of you know, Ocado is an online grocery retailer in the UK, but we're actually much more than that. We are a software, uh, robotics, and automation systems provider to online grocery worldwide. So Ocado have gone through a huge transformation of the business. We've grown from being a UK-based FTSE 250 company to being an international player in nearly 10 geographic regions around the world in the last five years. We're now a FTSE 50 company and our business is not just delivering to customers, our customers are now businesses, some of the greatest, largest grocery retailers in, in on the planet. And the challenge with that is with such pace and growth, the last place that gets invest, investment is really finance. So our finance systems have been built for a retailer. Our chart of accounts have been built by a re- for a retailer. Our target operating models built for a retailer. Um, the way we report's been built for a retailer. So we've had to spend time looking at what we've been trying to achieve, what kind of information we need to make the right decisions. And we're learning as we're going and finance is learning as they're going. And so we've had to really pause and say, what does finance look like for the future to support this new business that isn't just only a UK retailer? So finance have really had to just step back and think about how we look at what we try and do to deliver to our business stakeholders. And that's why we really need to consider our finance transformation. Through our finance transformation, there's probably about five pillars people, reporting, processes, controls, and tools. Those are the main areas we want to consider. With people, we've really had to consider what our target operating model looks like. We used to be one finance team where we'd have management accountants and business partners doing the same role. So the person who did the month end for two weeks of the year, or two weeks of the period rather, they would uh, do the business partnering for two weeks of the period. And so as business partners really ramped up, we've thought, well, hang on, this isn't really going to work. We need to support the business. So our target operating model has been able to allow us to create clear areas of responsibility, commercial, knowledge center, and finance excellence. And that brings me to processes. We've started bringing in the knowledge of actually global process owners and getting people to understand what a process is and actually how they fit into that general, uh, that documentation process and what parts they play in those roles. That's a huge part of the transformation journey we're trying to do today. And we're about to go live with that in a couple of months. And tools, our Oracle R12 system, as I said, has been built for a retailer. So we are moving to Oracle Fusion with a lot of additional support and tools and BI to help us do our reporting. We're changing our chart of accounts. So it's not retailer focused, it's a logistics technology provider focused in a company to allow us to do the right reporting to enable decision-making through the whole business. And finally, the whole thing has got to be under this really good wrapper of financial control with a lot of the changes um, in the audit reform and the Bayes white paper, being able to just have a culture of controls or a more robust culture of controls embedded through all of this is where we're currently at today. The future for our transformation is actually quite exciting. The business is just ever evolving. You know, what we scoped a year ago, you know, we're probably delivering that, but the business has changed a lot as well. So really, we're we're always going to have a transformation program for I, I would say at least the next three years to be able to adapt to what the business is doing and to be able to make sure that finance and back office is getting the investment that it needs so i think really it isn't a case of well this is going to fix it it's a case of that tra- finance transformation is with us for a longer time you know this one approach where we're going to go live with our system and our processes in a couple of months that's just the beginning. It's a springboard and a really strong base of how we can then start addressing um, what the business actually needs while we are supported in finance by a very strong system, strong reporting and strong controls.